Psychotic has been a member for 13 months. Thank you so much. And he also says, uh, in the first 15 minutes, I've laughed harder at South Park than anything in the past few years. Trey and Matt still lampoon all sides. Happy Halloween. Yes, I can't wait to get to that. But you guys sat through Loki for some dumb reason. Yes, we did. We did. <laughs> and uh, before we start getting into, into like the big takeaways of this episode, namely another demonstration of the fine acting talent that is Jonathan Majors, who wasn't just media hype at all, and uh, how formidable Kang is as a villain. Do any of you gentlemen who has been watching this show uh, along with me, can you tell me what the hell is actually going on in this series? Because all I freaking hear is techno babble that would make Star Trek Voyager jealous, but what actually is going on? It's like something multiverse, some techno babble, techno babble need to tech detect something, and if we don't tech detect, then everything is going to hell or or, or something. I mean. What's the big deal? It's a multiverse. It's the natural state of the universe. I mean, just just bugger off and leave it alone. I mean, what am I missing here? What script can you summarize? What the hell is going on? I've seen four episodes, and I don't know what this series is about. I don't know what they're talking about. Nothing. What's going on? Okay. So uh, the TVA please summarize, that... please summarize what's happened for me because I've watched four episodes and I'm incapable of giving a summary of what the hell I've watched. Well, well, ask me four more times what happened and then I'll do it. Go for it. Okay. <laughs> so the TVA is at risk because of what happened with the previous season. The way it's at risk is some sort of new device called the loom is unable to handle all the temporal energy of all these timelines and they have to fix it. Uh, they spend four episodes telling us about that and then um, accidentally locking themselves out, having to go find an alternate Kang to unlock the doors only to be too late and witness an explosion of the loom. That's the first four episodes, which could have been done in one. Yep. Thank you for that summary. Because when you that there that you said over the last 20 seconds... That's been stretched out over now nigh on four hours of running time. And all I see in this is a bunch of Star Trek Voyager like techno babble to the point I completely lost track. So basically, the only thing that's really at risk here is the TVA, because that thing was evidently, and that doesn't make any sense for me, because presumably, presumably, there must have been a multiverse when one Kang, the one who remained, or whatever the hell his name was, made the TVA specifically to prune all the timelines, except the one that led to him. So how the hell is now the multiverse returning this big deal for the TVA? Presumably it must have been there when it was a flourishing multiverse in the first place. I believe the TVA is a result of Kang the Kang that was killed winning a war that has been alluded to for the past two season and a half that we know nothing about, nor so we don't understand the stakes behind it. This. <laughs> yes, you this, are this absolutely correct. Like awfully that, messy right? writing. <laughs> yes. Mr. Chateau, would you have given this a green light? I mean, <laughs> I, I said in a tweet that, the first year and the first few episodes of this season would be a good Doctor Who two-parter. I don't understand why this entire schlamozzle is is actually a worthwhile plot or story. It just were it, it, yeah, it's just completely dumb. I mean, I understood the threads part because as a, you know, when I was in the programming business, you're always running out of uh, web server threads and <laughs> crashing the server. So I got it because, you know, I'm into those, those kinds of threads, but um, uh, not string theory. I don't believe in string theory. No, that's some bullshit. I know. Yes, it is. Yeah. string theory is bullshit, yeah. uh, <clears throat> but um, uh, not, but, but, and, uh, it's just painful to watch all that talent agonize over a very thin, implausible. And there's impl okay, hold on. Impl there's implausible and implausible, and everything in the comic book realm. I mean, even Jaws is imp 
was implausible. I mean, that it's it's important to uh, not get uh, too overheated, um, you know, about that. But when um, it turned out that everybody is a what's it called? No, they're a replacement. What's the term that they used? Uh, variants. A variant. As soon as it turned out that they were all puppets of Kang and their variants, the entire premise of the show imploded. There was like no, no point. They should have just sat down, had a sangria, and you know, called it a day. They no, there was no no longer personal agency. There was really no value in anything that they were doing because it's all a sham. So it's, you're saying that Mobius had the right idea because he wanted to sit down and have a cake or whatever yeah, it was. A pie. It's yeah, it's a kind pie, of yeah. it's kind of a double matrix. Sorry, Siri. Okay. Hey Siri, stop. I'll, I'll tell you one thing. Watching uh the not not jumping the gun here, watching South Park, the latest episode, they say something siri so many times uh my my all my devices were constantly going off i think there, <laughs> there will be complaints but but getting back to i mean it's it's just too bad i, I it really needed to be calmed down because it's a, way too complex a, a premise and it needed yeah. to be simplified down to a doctor who level bit of silliness and then i think it would have been fine the thing is they try to simplify it down by saying the loom is damaged Yes, it's like that's the simple idea, but every aspect about fixing it is far more complicated than it needs to be. Needs to be, and the character complications woven into this are complications for the sake of complications yeah. and not complications of drawn by character. Like, why does this can variant of Kang care about hot cocoa machines? Right, and and why does he have a prototype of the device that's going to fix things? Right. Like, oh, I just happen to have this yeah, little that you made with 19th century technology. Correct. Very convenient. Exactly. That fit the device that they just made now. Just plug it in, which happens. And the paradox on... between the the writings of the the TVA manual, like the reason OB knows how to write is because of um, this Kang variant, and vice versa. Correct. And you're like, okay, now you're just getting into silliness. You're trying to do yeah. Douglas Adams, but you've lost you've lost the point. Well, Douglas Adams played it for laughs. They he he played it for juxtaposition laughs. Yes. There's no laughs in this. It's it's just a lot of hand waving and people running around and not much action and uh some cruelty. And then I, you know, I'm just not convinced of uh, not Reva. What's her name? Revelstone. Renslayer. Yes, Ren Renslayer. I, 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 I'm just not convinced of her as the new antagonist. Well, how about Miss Minutes? The uh, Miss the, Minutes the, the, would the, probably the have been the best antagonist Rabbit. if they had left Miss Minutes alone, without any human aid. I, I could buy that. As as the bad person, it's it, it, I mean it's got a wonderful evil side, and the way it's delivered in that offhanded, cartoony way, uh, you know, very southern. Well, I'm sorry, you feel that way. I'm going to kill you. I mean, it's very James Bond. Yeah. Mister Bond, please have some breakfast before I kill you. I've got the eggs exactly the way you like it. But, but speaking of uh, speaking of kill, before we move on to South Park, let's let's finish up the Loki discussion uh, because we just saw spoiler alert. We saw the end of this version yeah. of Kang, the what third or fourth iteration we have so far seen of Jonathan Majors, uh, where he put on like this mock accent and everything. And uh, yeah, how how impressed were any of you with the uh, with Jonathan Major's performance as this 18th century town. He blowed up good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll get back into that. But uh, yeah, is this really this A level talent? Because I don't think so. Uh, or if he is, then they found like the one the one thing he couldn't do, and they stuck him in that. Well, they've they've now got 
two antagonists, you know, that, that guy that they dug up who was a magician and uh, Ren Meister, again, I can never remember her name. Um, and I, I have no idea what's going on. Yeah. So they've killed him. Why? Uh, he didn't get to move out to the device and stick it in and push the button. He got blowed up before he had a chance to do it. Yeah, he got spaghetti fights, and yeah. that was yet yet another Kang gone. So, I I had half a mind that that going out into that radiation might have turned him into Super Kang, and he would be back. That's that's what I thought was going to happen. Oh no, I I thought for instantaneously as soon as he stepped out there, he was dead because Why? he's a very pathetic version character, and. Marvel at this point is not clever enough to turn that pathetic character into someone that could become a threat. Well, Timely did say that, said that you're a pathetic variant. Yeah. You're not the real variant. But yeah, this is they the show is trapped in endless You you mean like you miss minute said like uh, <laughs> you'll never be him. Yes. Correct. Yeah. yeah. I like Miss Minutes. She should have been the bad guy right from the beginning. Well, she may be by the by the time all is over. Uh, but uh, but right now script. she's offline. They turned her off. So. Oh, that one. Well, she was just rebooted. That one last time. True. Uh, but uh, script. Uh, so um, you think that this is a good way of building up Kang as this unstoppable enemy because we just saw him defeated and spaghettified again. Uh, well, the thing is, we've seen all these Kangs that have failed, and supposedly there's apparently one out there that is to be trifled with that we have not yet seen yet. We thought it was in Quantumania, but that ended up not being the case. Uh, we, we don't know anything. They're, they're doing nothing with the character. They're not exploiting any of the fun aspects that Kang has. They've, they've wasting a villain that was, you know, B tier, that could have been A tier had they just said let's have fun with what Kang can do and they decided no we're not doing that yeah I, I have to say that i i think that this series so far has been a tremendous waste it's two episodes left i'm, I'm waiting uh, for kang to show up on robin hood <laughs> yeah that actually would would be a decent fit probably yeah this clip was taken from Midnight's Edge in the Morning, which streams live every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 9am Pacific Time on the Midnight's Edge main channel. There you can send in your live questions and comments before clips and full stream replays are uploaded to Midnight's Edge live archives. We are also on Twitter, Rumble, Odyssey and Facebook, so smash that like, help share, subscribe and join us.